They also give each other blowjobs. They got this thing called Rainbow right, Parties. Right, wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do you remember when that was fucking network news? Do you remember that sh When that made it to the news? I feel like my high school had a rainbow party because people saw it on the news and they thought that's what kids were doing. Like, they incepted the idea that, that, do you guys know what a rainbow party is? Okay. At, at a time when everybody was selling fear, right, in the United States, there was this story that high school kids, groups of high school women would do like a spin the bottle type thing in the dark where they would all put on different colors of lipstick and then just blow dudes in the room in the dark. And then afterward, you'd go check your dick and see the, the shades of lipstick and then you would know who blew you. And it was madness. I don't know if it ever actually happened, but it made it to network news. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna get stun locked. This is a good. This is a good stun lock. I didn't know any of this. I have, yeah, I have. I've gotten a whole new vocabulary. Let me tell you. This is salad tossing. This is me and cucumber. No Fucking Oprah, dude. There's lettuce, tomatoes. Okay, okay so okay. okay. So what is a salad okay, toss? Okay, toss salad is. Get ready. Hold on to your underwear for this one. Oral, anal, sex. <laughs> I was not ready for that to come out of Oprah's mouth, bro. What is a salad toss? <laughs> oh, yeah, wow, that's for cool. Oh, my God. So, oral sex to the anus is what. <laughs> Bro, you just ruined this mom's life, dude. You just ruined this mom's life. No. Oral sex through the anus. It can't be this way, Oprah. That's where I defecate from, Oprah. Toss salad is. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> a rainbow party. Yes, here we go. Here we go. So this is how rainbow parties made it to the mainstream. Is an oral sex party. It's a gathering where oral sex is performed and rainbow comes from all of the girls put on lipstick and each one puts her mouth around the penis of the gentleman or gentlemen who are there to receive favors and makes a mark um, in a different place on the penis, hence the term rainbow. So Okay, um, and so what is... Bro, listen, I swear to you that this like clip went so viral, like every mom in the world was so afraid of rainbow parties that when I was in like junior high, they like started to fucking like warn us about it. They were like, don't you receive blowjobs from a room full of people? And we were like, what? Huh? So what does pretty boy mean? A pretty, pretty boy. boy is a sexually active boy, someone who's been fairly promiscuous. So it isn't what maybe what you would have thought pretty boy meant in your and time. And dirty means what? Does dirty, dirty mean a disease, means a diseased girl? And along with that, the term that some teens are using to mean HIV is high five, high, and then the Roman numeral V, high five. So if, if you got high fived by Jack, you got diseased by Jack. <laughs> Yo, this bitch. Dude, she deserves to go to jail. She deserves to go to jail, and here's why. Do you know how many you mean fucking you teens, how many fucking teens had their fucking flip phone, their chocolate, their parent went through it, and someone sent, like, high five to them, and they were like, oh, my God, my daughter has HIV. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Or they heard the term pretty boy. And they were like, that's it. My son's a whore. I fucked up. We're going to church. Dude, I remember. Oh, my God. Can I tell you guys the first time I got my heart broke? 
the first time I got my heart broke. There was this girl in my school that was so fucking fine. She was so fine. She was so goddamn fine. Okay. And I won't give you a real name. Her name was, let's just say Alana, right? Boom. She was in my high school. So fine. And God gave me a gift, right? I was this fucking pasty loser who wore Hawaiian shirts, but she thought funny guys were hot, right? Like that rare, incredible hot girl who is like more into funny dudes that than she is to like actual attractive men. And so she let me hook up with her and it was great. It was incredible. I could have been so happy. All the fucking like cool dudes at my school were like giving me daps and shit. I was like, let's go. I was a tennis teacher. She was a lifeguard. I would come from teaching tennis and she would like climb off her lifeguard stand and we would get nachos and make out. It was great. Life was good. I was happy. Her parents found like ditch weed in her room, like Mexican brick pack ditch weed because we were fucking 16 years old and we smoked a little weed. And at the time, that was an abomination, right? That dude, all this fucking high five and rainbow party madness was going on. So, you know, the dares of the world had her fucking parents convinced that a gram of fucking ditch weed was going to lead to her going off the deep end. And they did. Did you guys hear about like the, 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 like the midnight kidnap boot camp type shit? They kidnapped my queen in the middle of the night. They fucking bagged her up, took her cell phone like a thief in the night, bro. Found her weed, didn't say anything. Bagged her ass up, sent her to reform school in the middle of the night. She never came back, bro. Never came back. And I was never quite the same man. Because she was so goddamn fine. Life was so good, chat. Life was so fucking good. It was, I felt like I felt like the, uh, like a character in the Bible, you know, where like everything's going dope and then old fucking testament God is like, but now you will suffer. Now we will test your faith. And he took that hot blonde girl oh, that's for who preferred I guess we did ruin someone's life. Funny guys, dude. She fucking moved from she was the out of town girl. She was the new girl. You know, the fucking new girl that comes into class and like sit wherever you want. Fucking Donnie Darko style. Bam, blonde hair. Bam, blonde hair. She's a lifeguard. She can swim. My dirty fucking Hawaiian shirt wearing ass, wearing big ass Osiris sneakers and Janko jeans. She gave me that chance. Mm, mm, mm. It hurt. I didn't get over that for a long time. Anyway, back to this. Sorry, that dude, that, I just unearthed some trauma. He gave you HIV. He gave you HIV, yeah. So that means you anyway. shouldn't go around saying to little kids anymore. I was like a little boy and I went, give me high five. So yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that anymore. And if right? suddenly your kids want to make salad. Dude, high fives. What? No. A high five is this. It's not HIV. It all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you should be wondering. Okay. <laughs> and booty call is pretty uh, yeah, that's, common, yeah, right? Yeah, that's pretty pervasive. Yeah, that's an... Uh, early morning or late she needs to go straight to jail at night call for sex that involves no real relationship maybe 2 a.m guy calls this is the only real term she used Roland says meet me at so-and-so location we have sex with now you. it's called the dick appointment right booty call became dick appointment and i'm happy with that because we're we're <laughs> we're taking apart the patriarchy piece by piece right now it's a dick appointment women have the power Leave. booty call Y'all knew that. Y'all got right. that, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, and then there's the term hoovering, which is... <laughs> hoovering. A term used for a girl having an abortion. 
um, the, the... What? Which is... A, I knew that. Y'all got right. that, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, and then there's the term hoovering. Did she say hoovering? No, 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 no. Which is a term used for a girl having an abortion. Um, the, the, yes, you get, you get the reference. The crowd goes, oh, Jesus Christ. It's the sucking of a Hoover vacuum. She's having herself vacuumed out, so to speak. So these were just a few of the terms that I, you know, heard teens referring to. I got a whole new vocabulary book. You so know, what Can you imagine them doing this today on Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil's like, now, now you have some terms that you'd like to talk to us about. And what are those terms? Uh, the first one is a um, Gawk Gawk 9000. Okay. And what, what, what's a, what's a Gawk Gawk? Okay. About growing up with baggy jeans. What's a, go, what's a Gawk Gawk? And Hawaiian shirts really resonates. Thank you. Kids. She would like get it wrong. She'd be like, oh, that's where uh, you suck on a man's scrotum and you're making the sound of an indigenous bird from the Amazon uh, known as the, the Gawk Gawk Beagle. Uh, the red-breasted gawk gawk. Um, they just get it totally wrong. Here. Yeah, before yeah. I got here. <laughs> what would you, what would you, if somebody said she got hoovered, you would just say, what do you mean I by said, what, Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? What does hoovering mean? And she'd tell me. Are rainbow parties pretty common? I think so, at least among... <laughs> Dude, I would have fucking killed to go to a rainbow party. Man, I swear to you. I would have I would have put it all on the line. At 16, I would have put it all Bro, what like what what girls in the Midwest were like, "You know what sounds fun, Courtney? What's that, Gabby? Let's just black out the lights in a room and just suck everyone's dick." <laughs> Among the 50 girls that I talked to, this was this was pervasive. This was pervasive. Chat in chat, there's almost 5,000 of you in here. Not really, Cap. That's Cap. There's only 4,000 of you in here. Did any of you attend a rainbow party growing up? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And, and what are the guys saying about all this? Well, I didn't talk to guys, but certainly in the experiences that I've had in talking to the boys, they don't see sex, and this should be no surprise to any of us, in the same way that girls see it. They don't see it as a way to... Uh, feel closer or to have the kind of intimacy that maybe a girl is looking for they see it as a way to earn stripes or be cool with the yeah. other guys and let me tell you yeah that was totally new in the 90s right <sighs> tell you something girls are doing more giving than they are getting they are giving the boys the oral sex absolutely some of the boys aren't even asking them for it and they are offering it really where i'll move there Yes. Where is this happening, Oprah? Because I guarantee you, there's no school shooters there. Wherever the rainbow parties are happening, the rates of violence are at an all-time low. Everybody's just getting their dick sucked. No one's playing organized sports because no one gives a shit. They're all too busy getting their dicks sucked.